Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the star line by the Colorado Kid. You can hear the R&B sensation on season 20 of NBC's The Voice. We welcome Devin Blake Jones. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> Absolutely great, Devin. Let's go beyond the mic. Why was going on The Voice the next logical path for you? Um, I think it was just really, there wasn't anything else to do. It was right when COVID first started. and um, I, first of all, didn't think that I would ever get this far. <laughs> um, and I've taught me to kind of have a little bit more belief in myself but yeah i just there was no can't play shows we can't you know even go in the studio and record so it was the next logical thing when i got that call back i said you know what i'm doing now when you found out you were going to the blind auditions what was going through your mind i was just completely elated uh and just excited and i i said you know it for me i knew that it was going to be life-changing regardless of what happened because if I didn't get a chair turn then it was going to be a learning experience either way you know I felt and so yeah I challenged myself to really not you know want one outcome over the other I just wanted to go in with no expectations with just faith that I was going to come out a better person and, and I'm just so thankful for the whole experience the blind audition experience was next level it really was Speaking of challenge, learning to sing in Swahili for an African band, you don't take the easy path. No, oh, I well, you know, I just, I really love singing in other languages, and it's just, I like a challenge, and I think maybe that's kind of why I did this too, because it feels like a roller coaster, and that's what music is to me, it kind of feels like a ride. I mean, when you start the song, you go through so many different facets of it, chorus, bridge, you know, uh, you're, you're singing softly, and you're singing loud, and that's what singing in other languages is for me. And I love singing in Hebrew, and I learned how to sing in Hebrew. I also love love singing in Spanish as well. Uh, Maluma is one of my favorite artists that's out right now. So, yeah, it, it bridges the gap. I, I just really enjoy it. It's time for the Rocky Nate. Eight random questions. Answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. There is no pressure. Okay. <laughs> Everyone has one. What's your theme song? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is such a hard, this is so hard. All in my head by Corey Kelly. What are you afraid of? Height. Your favorite road trip snack is what? Beef jerky. Really? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm from Colorado. <laughs> What's the nickname your mom calls you? Brew Man, because I grew up and I was obsessed with Punky Brewster when I was a kid. So they call me Brew Man. <laughs> favorite time suck? Cooking. We all have good habits, but what's your worst habit? Letting my clothes pile up instead of just keep, keeping up with my laundry. Kind of <laughs> How about grocery store impulse buy? What's that thing you always have to get while you're in the grocery store, even if you're not hungry for it right then? Matcha green tea powder. Favorite song to sing in the shower? So, hmm, Gangster Paradise. <laughs> now, which coach did you want to have them turn their chair when you were in the blind audition? Kelly Clarkson. Ah. How has your family supported you during this adventure? Oh my God. They are extremely supportive and they, <laughs> they're just extremely supportive. Whenever an episode airs, you can barely hear it because they're all screaming. What was going through your mind after you lost the battle? I just was preparing myself to go home and go do a bunch of interviews and just was really telling, uh, uplifting myself saying, it's okay, you you did well. You did the best you could. And this is an awesome experience. And I tried to, was trying to keep it positive. And that slow walk off the stage. And then nearly just when you could possibly be at the very end. And then Nick saves you. That emotion has to be incredible. Oh, my gosh. I, he waited until I got all the way to the door. So I was convinced that I was going home. No one was stolen me. And I blacked out. All I remember was Carson screaming in my felt like Carson was screaming and I, I he was like you gotta get back on the stage and I uh, just I blacked it out I don't even remember crying until I look back and I'm like oh yeah that, that happened <laughs> talk about the amazing friends you've made on this adventure of yours oh my gosh it has been amazing uh, Connor Christian lives out here so we live about 20 minutes away so we've become really good friends uh, everyone's really really close uh, you spend so much time together, uh, you know, and you're trapped away and locked up in a hotel for months. And so these people are family for life. No one 
understands what you went through except for the people that are there with you. And so it kind of feels like summer camp when you're a kid. That's kind of what it reminds me of. <laughs> the group text chat has to be off the chain. Oh, yeah. It, it started a lot of group text chains in the beginning, but I think after a while, it kind of got exhausting for people. And we just kind of, once we got to really know each other, everyone has their own kind of personal relationships with each other. And there's, you know, social media now, too. So. He sings Gangsta's Paradise in the Shower, loves snacking on beef jerky, and mom calls him Brewman. From season 20 of NBC's The Voice, we thank Devin Blake Jones for taking the time to talk with us today. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been a blast. That was super fun. And that, my friends, is a Beyond the Mic shortcut. <laughs>